So if you've been wondering how to do a snare roll or hi-hat roll in Logic, today I'll show you a quick way that you can pull up the note repeater and get that done. What's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic Band, a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind or visually impaired Logic, GarageBand, macOS, and voiceover users. Check out the blog at logic.band and subscribe. So let's take a look at how to pull up the note repeater and record something quickly in Logic. All right, so I'm here in Logic. Track one analog, sir. Track 26, 808 flex. Groove. And I got these two tracks here with these two different electronic drum kits on it. And I'm going to do a snare roll with this one. So if I want to pull up the note repeater, the quick way to do that is control option return. Note repeat, dialog. And now, if I press and hold a key, you hear it will repeat for as many times as I press and hold that key. So now you can also change this if I view right. Note repeat, button, rate, velocity, gate, key remote, dim, one slash 16 note, pop up button. Right there where it says one sixteenth. If you want to change this to an eighth note. One slash 32 note, one slash 64 note, one check mark, one slash eight note. There we press go. one slash eight note, one slash eight note, pop up button. And this might be good for a hi-hat pattern. We want a hi-hat to be on the eighth. So something like that you can do. But if you want to do like a row, you might want to... Met one slash 16 note. One slash 32 note. Right, Press one slash 32 note. note. One slash 32 note. Pop up button. You might want something like that. Or even a 16th note may work. Menu tw one slash 16 note. Well. Press one slash... Now, once you have that set, you can record that in, but you can't hit record while you're on this rate menu. So you want to hit VO home to just jump to the top of the window. Close button. And that's VO FN left arrow if you're on a laptop keyboard. And then you can start recording. So if I just press the letter R. Two bars, one beat, right, one. There we go. And if I play that back. Two bars, one beat, one. You heard those in there now that I just played in. And you can switch the rate on this as well and play in a hi-hat pattern or any other pattern you want as well. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if you don't mind, take a second to like and subscribe. If you know someone who is new to Logic, getting up to speed with using it with voiceover and also using macOS, be sure to send them over here. Let them know what we're doing at Logic.Band. And also, if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one training, don't forget to check out Logic.Band slash training. All right, so let's go over to the rate control. No repeat button. Rate. All right, so once we get to rate, we can just do VO down arrow. One slash 16 note. Pop up button. And there you have it, 116. Menu 20. One slash 8 note. this over to Press one slash 8 note. One slash. And now, all right, I'm going to jump back to the top of this window. VO home. Close button and one bar one beat one division one tick just hit return to make sure i'm at the beginning so now i'm going to hit record and let this count me in and start recording one bar one and beat one division one tick all right and there we have it so now if i play that one back, bar one One bar one. All right, so there you go. We just recorded in two different patterns with the note repeater at two different rates. So that's one example of how you can use the note repeater in your tracks. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover, you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on 
logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and VoiceOver. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.